I had a whole script prepared for this segment, and uh, I've decided to wing it instead because it came out angry, and, 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 and it's not that I'm angry. I'm, I'm very concerned, and I'll tell you what it's about. And let me start off by telling you this. Uh, a couple of days ago, my wife went on a trip, and she was in the airport. I took her to the airport, wished her a safe trip, and while I was coming out of the airport, a young woman, service woman, uh, without legs, was coming back after having been in rehab for six months, after having lost her legs in Afghanistan. So what I'm going to tell you comes from my heart because, because I'm an American, because I'm committed to our servicemen and women, and I'm committed to our women who are serving this country and how important this is to me. I'm joining uh, many generals uh, like Republican General uh, Colin Powell, who was uh, head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, as you know, general during the, uh, the uh, Gulf War, uh, Secretary of, uh, what was it, Defense or Secretary of State? A brilliant man, and many, many generals and officers in the United States Armed Services. And here's what it's about. Women in the armed services who become pregnant as a result of rape and incest, I want to make a point about this, as a result of rape and incest, have to pay out of the limited amount of money they have if they choose to have an abortion. I'm not pro-abortion. You know that if you know me. Not at all. But this is a very special circumstance. Now, here's what's even more interesting. If you work for the State Department, if you work for the Department of Defense, if you are a federal employee, the government will pay for abortion related to rape and incest. But if you're a service woman in harm's way protecting us, losing your legs like this woman I saw in the airport, her family went to greet her, her kid, oh my God. Mommy, where, where are your legs? If you're one of those women, we won't pay after you've had the insult of being raped or either from by a stranger or raped in, with a fam through a family member through incest. Uh, I want to tell you that in Congress, there are a majority of congressmen, congressmen, who are against this. Uh, most of them, but not all, are in the Republican Party. And um, I think that they're marginalizing themselves once again, as I've said before. This is impossible to support. They uh, basically are arguing that uh, it was meant to be. I'm sorry. Uh, these are people who have elected to go out and to serve our country, these women, and they deserve our support. And one of the things that we can do, in this case, I'm not talking about elective abortion. I'm talking about abortion as a result of rape and incest. Um, I believe, and I join Colin Powell, I, uh, I'm nothing in comparison to him, but I, I, I join the generals of the armed services in pleading with Congress to reconsider their irrational, almost crazy decision not to support American women who are supporting us and being in harm's way in our armed forces. This is a travesty. It's unfair. And if we're going to continue this course, then we need to warn the women, and for that matter, men who are entering the armed services, that there are a number of things that we do for other people that we're not doing for them. They may not choose to join if that's the case. This is silly, crazy. And I implore you to call your congressmen or your senators and tell them that they need to support payment by the federal government in the health services that are covered for women who must have an abortion because of rape or elect to have an abortion because of rape or because of incest. So uh, I know it's a ticklish subject. I know I'm being perhaps repetitive. But you have no idea of what it means to me, and it should mean to you, I hope, to think that we are prejudicing the care that women who serve us uh, in the armed forces get as a result of this absolutely irrational decision. And here's what I think. I think that 
we, we need to do what we can in this holiday season to let the people know that serve us that we appreciate everything that they do. Please think about this as hard as I have and be well. You know who I am. I'm Dr. Sam Benjamin. This is with medical news you can use.